Hello, I hope you're doing great. I want to share with you a story that's a little unusual because I hope that it brings you hope and that it helps you understand that really everything is possible. This happened a few years ago when I was coaching. Um, it was a CEO of a larger company uh, having five real estate agencies and about 100 employees uh, working for him. He hired me to coach him and also coach his wife. Uh, his wife was a stay-at-home mom who had big dreams of becoming a singer, but perhaps was not the happiest person in the world living with this kind of controlling man. At one occurrence, something tragic and dramatic happened. They were sitting by the fire and the woman tried to lit the fire and put more um, uh, alcohol on it. And what happened was a backdraft. The fire got to her and basically took over her entire upper body. So her face, her skin, everything burned to a crisp. It was tragic, dramatic, horrifying. Her husband, by the time he got to her, it was kind of too late. She was already burned second and third degree. Brought to the hospital, emergency room. I got a call at 2 a.m. saying, that a tragedy has happened and that she might be dying. I was absolutely terrified and horrified, but I knew that if she had followed everything I had told her so far, we might have a chance to save her. She eventually woke up after three days and still on drugs, of course, with morphine because of the pain she was enduring. Her first words were, please give me Slavika on the phone. When I saw her face, I almost fainted myself. I almost cried, but I withheld my tears because I didn't want to, of course, show my emotions and get her to feel even worse than she did. So we worked together. She was already doing and practicing a lot of the spiritual components of my coaching, which is about meditation, visualization, projections in the future. And she was very high up in her vibration, in her self, in her well-being. So she was able to do something quite extraordinary. Greg Braden teaches it. I think even Dr. Joe Dispenza teaches it now. And basically what we did is with her mind, she reconstructed every cell of her face. Sounds incredible, and yet it's true. She, with her brain, she started visualizing her cells being reborn on her face. And the doctors were absolutely astonished. They came every day to take a picture of her because they just couldn't believe that she would survive this horrible, horrible um, accident. And they actually were telling her every day, you know what, you should forget about it. You'll never have a beautiful face ever again. But she believed in my words and she believed in herself and she believed in the power of the brain. And so with her brain, she reconstructed one cell after another. In five weeks, her face was completely perfect. She's now happy, happier than ever, and nobody could ever tell that she was a burn victim. It sounds absolutely unbelievable and surreal. For me, it proved that we as humans are able to do things we can't even imagine. And her survival and actually her now being a singer because she even lives the life that she always wanted to live proves that anything is possible. If you put your mind to it, if you believe in it, and if you do everything in your power to change how you see reality, how you see your future, and even how you see yourself, well, things will change around you. So I hope this story, unbelievable but true, brings you to a level of hope and inspiration to know that really anything is possible. I hope you share this video with others so that others can benefit and get uplifted because we need to share stories like this, stories of real miracles, stories of life, of love, and of belief so that other people can also raise their awareness and do something incredible with their life. I hope you take the time to really take this in and do something incredible with your life. Thank you.